Hey guys, this is Jimmy from Primer is Best and I'm at Gas Axe Chop Shop, 10 Mile, Tennessee with Mr. Tim Dixon. Tim, well, can't see it from here, but Tim and uh, Angie are installing a gazebo on their uh, back porch. And uh, I'm going to show you my 78 C10 truck. Billy James is over here at Gas Axe. And let's see, I was going to, uh, well, it's on the other side. I don't know what I'm thinking. I don't know whose truck this is, but this is a pretty sharp truck. Let's look at it. I like those cutouts right there. Well, they're not cutouts. Look at that wasper. I don't know if you can see him or not, but he's a looking at me, or he was. Pretty sharp truck here. What's well, got those uh, snowflake wheels on it? I think that's what you call them. Pretty nice wheels. This might belong to Tim. I don't know. Could be. You never know what you're going to find here at Gas Axe Chop Shop. It changes all the time. Yeah, I think this is Tim's truck. Tim Dixon's. Pretty sure it is. Anyway, it's a good-looking truck, isn't it? Not going to open the door in case it's not Tim's. If it was Tim's, I would, if I knew for sure. I'm trying to hold this for you. Well, anyway, you just have to trust me. It's got a seat in it. <laughs> uh, Billy James. I'm over here at Gas X. There's the old hood off of, uh, off of this truck here, Billy James. Uh, the patch panel. I went blank for a second. There's the patch panel. Here's this piece that goes on the trim, and I'll show you what's going on with it. If you are new to the channel, this hood was on this truck. If you subscribe to GM Tim 38, GM Tim 38, his name is Brian. You'll be caught up with the videos. Uh, we put all new trim, or Brian did. Brian put all new trim on this. I say we, but I mean him. All new trim on this truck. Uh, but Tim's going to fix this spot here, and that'll be all the rust fixed on this truck. All the rust. It'll be rust free. Rust free. Other than maybe surface rust or something, but that's the biggest issue. And I got that whole piece like I showed you. Now that trim I just showed you is going to go in these holes. Brian's already drilled them out, ready to go. But Tim didn't want the trim on because he's going to be doing a lot of cutting and welding to fix this spot. So we should be good after that. I mean, it's, it's come. I think it's took six trucks or seven trucks to make this truck. Like I said, if you watch GM Tim 38 on YouTube, I'll try to leave a link if I can remember it to his channel and you can that and please like and subscribe and tell him you heard about him from Primer is Best. I sure would be grateful. I, I try to help friends whenever I can. But uh got a better hood on it. It's, it lays flat. Now I like that other hood that's in it, don't get me wrong, in the bed, but real partial to it. But I'm gonna paint this hood white. Uh, like to match the rest of the truck. We rattle can paint everything. This thing I've rattle can painted this truck twice. So, uh, just because I just like changing it up a little bit. Uh, anyway, the old truck's come a long way from its humble beginnings where it was, uh, it was just trashed. But the name of this truck is Billy James. It belonged, it belonged to a real person. His name is Billy James. I've never met him in person. He is still alive, but I've never met him in person. I don't know where he lives. I don't know anything too much. That's nothing that I'm going to say on YouTube. Let me say that. Anyway, Brian done a great job putting a trim on. This bed, a lot of this stuff is off that wreck truck. If you watch, go back just a few videos, you'll see the wreck truck that donated the insides and the bed and just all kinds of parts to put this truck back up on its feet and back on the road again. But uh, anyway... 
it's it's come a long way and uh, I I'll be glad when Tim gets that uh, when he has what well, excuse me I got tongue-tied when he gets caught up uh, you know he can fix that little spot it probably won't take him an hour as long as I get out of the way and not talk to him <laughs> but I do talk a lot but yeah this old truck sure has come a long way oh my goodness and it started out here at gas X I, I bought this truck I know I've told y'all before it, this truck was wrecked you know it's just in pieces no motor or transmission no nothing every piece on it was dented and being and dinged up you know trashed and uh like i said before billy james that used to own this truck uh the the, the, the law was always after him and he would jump ditches and stuff and he he was a nascar driver for dale earnhardt one of the another driver for nascar another driver for dale earnhardt before he passed he was a driver for him on his team i don't know how that works i don't watch nascar i know it's probably a southern thing but i don't but uh anyway uh billy james the law would get after him and and brian is was a full-time uh, i think he's still part-time a full-time police officer and he said he'd get after billy james and billy james would just take take a hard left or a hard right and jump ditches go off in cornfields and just he said a lot of times he'd get away from him in this truck, get away from the law. You know, everybody after him, he'd get away. So uh, anyway, my, my point is when I got the truck, it was all beat all to crap and uh, there wasn't too much left saving on it. But that wreck truck, like I said, if you go back a few videos, you'll see the truck that donated the insides and the bed. And I got doors and fenders from another feller in another county from where we lived that you know that was parting one out so and i was wanting to get everything he had but i just didn't have enough money to get it so i got the the major things the doors and the fenders and uh, i'm sure there's more but i can't remember but it, it just wiped me out i didn't have any more money to spend and i said i'd come back the next day and get the rest of it if he still had it and i called him and uh He'd sold the rest of it. Soon as, as soon as I left, there was more people coming to get parts from it. If you see a square body and you say you're parting it out, everybody in the woodwork comes out to get parts because they get uh, trashed. I mean, they get parted out really, really quick. But we still got I still got to paint it, the hood. I'm, I don't know if I'll paint the whole truck again or not. I don't know, but I got to put Penetrol on it and... Uh, it's a real good truck. If you watch Brian's video, which I'll try to leave a link, like I said, uh, you can hear him talk about the truck, and he said he's not afraid to go anywhere in this truck. It does everything it's supposed to do and does it well. Very good. So, uh, anyway, I just thought I'd show you Billy James and uh, let me know what you think. i got to paint the hood. There's a lot to do on this truck when we get it back home. There's lots to do on all, all the trucks here there and everywhere really like this truck i like this truck I, I like them all when you're at gas x chop shop you're it's a good place to visit i enjoy coming here y'all have a blessed day today and i'll catch y'all in the next video my name is jimmy and you are watching primer is best on youtube please give me a thumbs up and a you know subscribe to the channel if you would and uh i'll catch y'all in the next video. oh don't forget i got a second youtube channel called man on a budget and I'm on Instagram, man on, man on a budget one. Y'all have a blessed day. The Lord's good. The Lord is great. And I'm just so happy to be alive. And I'm glad to be here at Gas X Chop Shop with Tim and Angie Dixon. God bless y'all. Have a great day. Catch y'all in the next one, guys. See y'all later.